Hello and welcome to another World of Tanks replay. I am playing my T110E5 and Nakafin Murad is playing his T110E5 too. He recently made it to this tank, so yeah. Look at this beautiful beast. Yeah, as beautiful as beast as it is, as paper thin it is. But yeah, bad map. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this is a bad map. I, I kind of like this map. And I really kind of like this tank, although I mostly am unlucky with it. Um, nowadays I'm playing it in, in platoons, some more. So, yeah, it's, it's getting uh, kind of easier um, to, to win with it, because uh, if you have some people with you, it's, it's always better. Especially two T-125s can make a huge amount of damage in a very short amount of time. Uh, let's see how this works in this case. <coughs> We're going straight for the town, of course, so um, we need to get to a good position. They changed this map, so you actually have a chance now to arrive the city without getting snipe shot and stuff. This is much, much better now, so the, the map kind of is fixed. Um, the I, I recently, uh, before this game, I actually installed the ventilation to this tank. I'm not sure if I will keep it or uh, if I will uh, uh, remove it again. Uh, n not sure yet. So um, we're talking a little bit about reload times. On this tank, I think the reload time is already very good. Um, the ventilation gives you 5% more, but Brothers in Arms will do as good as ventilation does. And I think you can go for um, coded optics to give it some more view range, which never is bad. Um, now I'm taking a sniping position, as you can see, for, for this uh, point. What I didn't think about, the delay. When you spot someone, someone, for example, if I spot him on this corner, I can only shoot him if he kind of stops. If he doesn't stop, you will see what happens. He will just drive by, and uh, this is what I was not thinking. Have you seen that? He, I was just... Uh, I, I should have aimed for the right edge corner. Uh, to get this guy shot at, so um, yeah, this this was not very clever, and I advise you to not do so if you go for this place. Um, it's zero two now. Um, two of our people already died, but that's not that bad. Um, I see the T110 E3. I'm trying to get a look at him, and then I see that actually he bounced, and I tracked him. That was very fortunate. I hoped actually that this guy would be. Uh, s that this guy would try to shoot me and bounce because then you have one free shot because he has some real long reload time like 16 seconds I can mostly shoot him twice I maybe should have but the thing is that um, I saw some uh, walls breaking down here over here yeah there is the AMX 50B and he's giving me some nice shots into my lower hole let's, let's check this out uh, yeah where you can see he panned, it's, it's really bad. The uh, IS-7 told me that I should follow him and I will just do it. Although this guy is red, it doesn't necessarily mean that he has no good ideas. So in, in this case it was a brilliant idea. Okay, I just shot right next to the AMX-50B. You will see some very, very bad uh, shooting in this round, <laughs> according to me. And I have some problems with... Uh, with the with the aiming, if you go from outside to inside view in uh, nowadays, it's it's kind of strange. Your camera is getting flipped over to somewhere not nice. And there I see the 100. Actually, I give him one shot, and this will be like where you can see DPM work. Wait, wait, wait for him. Snap, and I track him, and this is going to be his ass-kicking uh, shot. I don't know why he's this guy is not repairing his tracks. You should kind of repair your tracks in kind of such a situation. And what is more important, even you should carry a fire extinguisher with you, especially in an E100. I see that the mouse just went for a very nice position, and I don't know where this shot went to. Very, very unfortunate. I don't know how I could miss that, but yeah, I did. So, again, 
And I didn't even hit this guy. I really don't know what happened to my shot this time. Maybe um, I should have put on the server reticle or something. But um, now we will just out DPM the mouse. As you can see, Nakif uh, is helping me here. We are uh, on both sides of the mouse. I'm looking for uh, free space and <laughs> this was a lucky shot. Um, try always, if you have like trains and stuff, to, to use them for your advantage. I thought maybe I can shoot through the f uh, train tracks, but you can't, as you can see in this place. So we're giving the mouse a tough time now. And this is an interesting thing. I bounced on the mouse because my shot went to the right side corner. And since I have the time now <laughs> to, to wait, I give the mouse a finishing shot. This was a fast. It was this was some fast action in the city, and uh, actually we were very. I'm trying to get a look at the uh, E3. I don't want to get one shot by it because actually this guy can roll high and can kill me, and I don't want this to happen. I don't know why he's going forward. Actually, the I7 was right there waiting for him. I guess he was just. I, I guess he thought like, ah, screw it, screw it, just screw it, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, I want to kill this artillery because I hate artillery and artillery shot me before. As you can see it's still reloading so you don't have to be too careful while driving forward. I hopefully will get this guy, not sure about it though. We did 4200 damage and 2 kills, not something uh, yeah according to the kills it's not very something speci uh, very much but uh, the amount of damage actually is not bad um, yeah I have to admit the E100 helped me a lot with this I'm pretty sure he couldn't repair his tracks um, and I could have kept him uh, uh, tracked but still <laughs> this was some also some very very lucky 1000 damage I added to my conto um, it just would have took longer but um, this also if, if, it, if it's taking longer no, now you can see me here uh, auto aim for this guy and as as uh, my reticle turns on the artillery I shoot because I wanted to not stop so yeah I hope you enjoyed it uh, this was some T125 action 3 kills uh, really enjoyed this round and uh, yeah I see you on the next one